Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at SMTAI in Chicago, and I'm joined by Chris on the Europlacer booth. Chris, thanks for talking to me. Um, My pleasure. Tell me a bit about how the show's been, the new products you're promoting here, or the products in particular you're promoting here, and the kind of the kind of visitors you've seen. I've been pleasantly surprised. Uh, I don't think we've brought equipment here in probably the last three years, and something told us that we should this year, and I think we're happy that we did. The, the traffic has been good, the quality of uh, customers, people actually looking at pick and place equipment, and, and we really do need to get out in front of as many people as we, as we can. The, the market's pretty good, and we're getting bigger and stronger and coming out with some pretty new, pretty exciting products, and uh, we're happy to be here. Okay, and, and the, the kind of customers you're seeing, are they mainly from the Midwest area or all over it, the it US? It does appear to be regional. It's, it's yeah. mostly, I'm seeing a lot of Wisconsin and Illinois, some Indiana, not a lot from the East Coast, no. which is where I'm from. Okay, and in terms of the industries they're coming from, is it any particular industry? I mean, there's automotive here, but... It seems to be dominated by automotive. Okay. Yeah, I think I've seen probably four or five just today, the automotive okay. guys. Okay, that's excellent. And tell me a bit about what you've been showing them. I know you've got some um, some product here that you're particularly promoting on the feeder side. Yeah, well, we're showing the NEO2, that's our flagship product. Um, it's a dual-headed machine that um, is meant for high mix. It's a high, highly flexible machine. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're promoting our new feeder. It's uh, a quick load, sub $300 feeder. And you just stick it in like this. Mm -hmm. Peel back the plastic and pop it in the machine. That's gonna okay. it's gonna reduce setup time significantly. Yeah. A standard feeder, a mechanical feeder, will take anywhere from you know sixty to ninety seconds to load typically, and that was, that was probably like ten, 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and That's it's right. and it's intelligent too. It's truly intelligent. Okay, so it's a, it's intelligent from a. Um, RFID standpoint or barcode or no? It's actually you, you scan your barcode and you scan the reel mm -hmm. and put it into the machine. It's got an intelligent trolley that talks to the machine, and um, and you can do full traceability okay. component level. Okay, and that's really important, especially in that automotive sector. It is um, that we were talking about. What's the what's the U.S. market looking like for you generally at the moment? You said you're from the East Coast. What's it like over there? Um, East Coast is, is pretty strong right now. We're seeing a lot of activity. It's getting near the end of the year, so it's getting good and busy. People are trying to spend up that money, and yeah. we're, we're trying to get our share of it. Yeah, and you mentioned um, the kind of high-mix environment. Is it the EMS guys that are in this kind of high-mix, fast, fast changeover environment right now? Um, absolutely. Uh, we're probably 60-40 OEM uh -huh. as far as our business goes, but um, the, a lot of the tools we have here would be extremely valuable for a, a contract manufacturer. Yeah. The productivity level of, of, of what we do really takes you to that next level. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, Chris, thanks very much for your time. All the best with the rest of the show and a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.